Okay, let's do this. Sure, let's go. Nga! Quit screwing around and start! I my is going to show up in her winter uniform. There's always someone in every class who forgets the switch. Good morning, sis. Huh? And that someone is my sister. Oh, darn it! I forgot to send my entry into the telly for that giveaway of theirs. I was kind of hoping to win that apron from Love Apron, too, darn it. It sounds like you don't have enough love. Huh? You forgot about it because you don't have enough love for the show. Whatever. I've been really busy with all my committee stuff. Besides, I also had to study for exams. No, 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 no. Those are excuses. I've never forgotten to send mine in. Stop comparing yourself to me! You got time because you goof off all day! Besides, the way you said that ticks me off! Uh-huh. How does anyone win a contest like that anyway? One word, and that's love. Whatever! I'm a woman with no love. There it is. Well, if you send in a normal-looking postcard, you're never gonna win anything. Huh? What do you mean, Kona-chan? I design it so it'd get picked. Design how? The first basic step is neat penmanship. Then you have to make a postcard that attracts the attention of the person who's picking them. For example? For example, take a highlighter and draw a border around the edges of the postcard. Oh, that makes it stand out! Then draw a picture on it that's got something to do with the prize you're trying to win. A picture, huh? Hmm, but I can't draw too good. Not to worry, Tsukasa. Send in a bunch of postcards and overwhelm them with volume. <laughs> I know I can do that. Although, if you do it that way, you can't use a computer and you can't just make one and make a bunch of copies. You have to write each entry by hand. And it's gotta be at least a hundred. A hundred? Sure, it's normal to send a hundred postcards. That's gonna cost a fortune. But winning takes lots of time and money. Winning is all about how bad you want it. Okay, but at this point, wouldn't it just be cheaper to buy it? You can't buy the feeling you get when you win something? <sighs> Can a hundred postcards fit in a mailbox? No, don't put all of them in the same mailbox. You put a few in this one, you put a few in that one. Just do that every day for a week. Really? Yeah, because if you send in a stack of cards all at once, whoever's choosing will notice and shove yours aside. It's a sign of desperation, so it's not a good idea to do that. But sometimes it really pays off. Then what do you think I should do? Like I said, you need love. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, if you really want to win stuff, there's always those free handouts or those flyers in newspapers. Just keep your eyes open for the drawings that don't have too big a following in your set. Then your chances of winning are pretty high. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna try that. Where's the love in that? Hmm. Hmm. I just noticed something. You guys look different, for twins, that is. Of course, we're fraternal twins, not identical twins. You can tell us apart, just like ordinary sisters. Identical twins look the same, but fraternal twins come from two different eggs, so they differ in appearance and personality. Oh, I get it. That explains why Tsukasa's oh. really laid back and you're so vicious. What'd you say? <laughs> you see? Maybe if you do your hair the same way, you'll look more alike than you'd think. Kagachu! <laughs> no way, Kagami can't do cute. Oh, shut up and keep your kooky <laughs> fantasies and comments to yourself! Hey, are you guys telepathic? Huh? 
I heard that even if twins are raised separately, they end up having similar lives. If they get married, they'll pick the same type of people to marry. I even heard sometimes twins marry other twins. Weird, huh? It's even weirder when one twin's in danger and the other one gets a feeling something's wrong even though the other twin's far away. That's a whole lot of phenomena, isn't it? So you guys have to be telepathic. Come on, let's try it out. Hokey pokey. Okay, you read way too much manga. <laughs> There's Manakana. Manakana? Yeah, them. They said there were things about them that were different. Like how Mana's the one who's really cautious and Kana's the one who's optimistic. And they said that when they sing, they can tell their voices are different. Oh, yeah, that's right. Manakana always thought they're from different eggs. You know, fraternal. But a little while ago, they found out they're twins from the same egg. What? They're identical? Yeah, why are you so surprised about that? I heard the definition of identical and fraternal twins had been changed recently. You think it's possible that you and Tsukasa came from the same egg? Let's see, how are you guys the same? I got it, both of you like sweets, right? Yeah, I do. Sure. Both of you are also left-handed. Yep. That's right. What's your favorite color? I like white. Mine's black. That would be the color of your soul. What was that? I guess all this talk about eggs and sausages and stuff got me hungry. We weren't talking about food. Uh, it's so muggy in here. It's not even that crowded in here and we're sweating. I guess it's that time of year again. Hot! I wish someone would turn on the air conditioning. Don't do that! So hot! Ladybug Samba, punk rock version. So I just found out that a cousin of mine's gonna be getting married this month. Wow, she's gonna be a June bride. That's nice. Tell me something. How did such a wet and gloomy month ever become synonymous with weddings and happiness? <laughs> You're wondering why the month of June is synonymous with weddings and happiness? Mm-hmm. In Roman mythology, the goddess Juno, where the word June comes from, was regarded as the protector of women and marriage. The Greeks' version of Juno, Hera, was the goddess of anything related to marriage and childbirth. That's why it's said that whoever gets married in June will be blessed by the goddess and have a marriage filled with happiness. Oh. Yeah, but isn't Hera supposed to be Zeus's wife? Yes, that's right, she is. I always pictured Hera to be the jealous type because Zeus was always fooling around on her, so I'm not feeling the happy here. Uh, what? When you get married, do you want to wear a dress or a kimono? I'd really like to wear a dress. It's what I dreamed of since I was a little girl. Hmm. Maybe I'd like to wear a dress, but I also think a kimono would be nice. I wish I could wear both. <laughs> they have mini skirts now and all kinds of colorful wedding dresses too. Wow, mini skirt wedding dresses. That could be really cute if it had some kind of frilly design on the hem. So many dreams and so many frills. Oh my. Tsukasa's like Angel Salvier. No, actually your hair makes you look more like Daisy. So you should be wearing a miniskirt and your top should be yellow. Huh? I think Tsukasa-san would look good in a miniskirt. You do? Sure, the outfit's important, but the kind of person you end up marrying is too. It could be a childhood friend or some girl from a rich family. That's a tough decision to make, because one's got the money and the ability to cast magic spells like Oi Me and Iyazun, which always come in handy. But if you're after true love... Then Bianca's the one! Whoa, Kagami, when did you get so pure? I thought you'd go for the girl with the money. I'm out of comebacks. Huh? Hiya, Konata. Hmm? You know that game I borrowed? I need help getting past this one level. Whoa, not so fast there, Kagamine. Hmm? Don't you think it's more fun when you figure things out like that on your own? Hmm, yeah, you have a point. You know it. It's fun to figure things out on your own, uh-huh. So, I guess you won't be copying my homework anymore, will you? <laughs> You know those detectives in manga and TV shows? Isn't it weird how they keep coming across murders all the time? Guys like Conan and Kindaichi. If they didn't, they wouldn't have any mysteries to solve, would they? Really? Because they could go after normal cases, too. Normal how? They could have a case where they run all over Japan looking for a missing person. Tracking someone down's got a lot of game-like aspects to it. It's got thrills, it's got suspense. Yeah, I guess. A case where a husband wants his wife tailed because he thinks she's cheating. Looking for a lost pet could be a case. Yeah, right? 
Yeah, but do you think it'd be any fun to watch that? Well, no, I guess it wouldn't be any fun at all. You see? You're right. Real-life cases don't have the clever tricks, bizarre situations, or show-stopping finales that the crimes in manga and anime have. Hmm, you're right, they don't. Like baking fingerprints or scrubbing a crime scene so Luminol won't pick up anything. Huh? Making it so the forensics team can't solve it. Well, the police don't want someone copying the perfect crime, so they censor that stuff from manga and TV. Yeah, or maybe... Perfect crimes happen all the time, but they don't tell us. Maybe they're never solved. Ever. Careful talking like that, someone might hear you. Don't you hate how there's been so much rain lately? Yeah, I know. <sighs> I remember when I was little, I used to like rainy days a lot. I never liked them, because if you go out, you get wet, and then you can't hang your clothes out to dry. How come you liked rainy days so much? Because if it rained, there wouldn't be any baseball on TV, and I'd get to watch all my anime. I should have known you'd say something like that. <laughs> yeah, but now they've got stadiums with domes. Lucky, Lucky star! star.